What is good, my pack friends? Pac-Man Case here. I am with... What's up, guys? It's Jay from the NES Attic Show. <laughs> we're here. We're neighbors. We're bros. We're friends. And we uh, have came to where? Where are we at right now, dude? This is the Barnyard Flea Market. Ooh, I'm gonna have to give you guys like a little grand tour here, a little montage action. But Jay says sometimes there's good stuff here, right? Every now and again, you can find some rad stuff. Okay. So we're gonna do our own version of Flea Market Madness today. Well, we're gonna hit it. We're coming after you, Pixel Game Squad. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Just here, alone in my room, waiting for Jay. I don't see him yet. I'm still waiting. First he said 7.20, now he said 7.30. It's probably gonna be 7.45. Where are you? That's kind of creepy. <gasps> there he is, he's pulling up right now. I'm gonna go get him. Let's do this thing. There he is. This is my neighbor, guys. How you doing, homie? <laughs> Hey, Pac-Man Case here. Guys, this was very, very cool to be able to meet up with Jay. Uh, just moving into South Carolina, he takes me to technically one of my first swap meets. Uh, we had them in Washington, but not this scale. This place was freaking huge. I wanna say they were probably like, 20 to 30 rows or bays all the way of vendors going the entire uh, stretch of this uh, awesome flea market. And uh, and Jay and I ended up picking up some unique stuff. Uh, you know, we ended up hitting up some game vendors. From the moment we get into this flea market, dude, Jay is in his element, hitting up tables, finding awesome, cool nostalgia bombs. That's so sick. I love E.T. What? 1994. It doesn't take us very long for Jay to find his first score. Picks it up, you'd think it'd be any old telephone. Oh no. Oh, is that a bat phone? Dude, that is cool. You know what's awesome? That's, that's the 1989 Batmobile as well. And the best one, Michael Keaton, best Batman. What are you? I'm Batman. I'm telling you. How much for the phone? 10 bucks. This thing is classic Batman telephone. They used to make this type of stuff all the time. They made Mario telephones and Barbie telephones and Batman telephones. But when you see this stuff in person, you're like, man, those were the days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously we're looking for games though, right? We wanna find anything that's gaming related to hunting. Uh, at the flea market, they have so many vendors that have video games. Now, it's tough, because at a flea market, you are going to find vendors that have video games, but they want retail for it. You're Ew. not getting that that swap meet, that flea market price. Uh, but sometimes you dig around just enough, you can find yourself a deal here or there. So Jay stumbles upon this Tiger Electronic Jurassic Park toy. Uh, these types of things, a lot of people pass up, but you can see that this one is pretty unique so if you can find it packaged it was about sixty dollars but some loose ones go from like 17 to 27. snagged it i said uh, i said you take two for it he said uh you had to walk away and google it didn't you <laughs> that's awesome let me see this thing raptor run all right oh no look it's on all right this flea market had so many unique things. You know, it's funny, I didn't think that I would see as much trinkets, like like 80s, 90s, early 2000s little toys. I mean, we're talking McDonald's and Burger King toys. Uh, I think I found a Woody Woodpecker. Uh, these types of things are just very unique at the flea market. Oh, dude, there's another 1989 Batman toy. Yeah. I think that's, oh no, that's that's Batman Returns because that's when he was going after yeah. Penguin. Well, that's when the Penguin was Yeah. Out. 
You don't really think you'll win, do you? I'm always on the hunt for N64 stuff. There was a vendor there. Uh, he hadn't even put consoles out on the table. We were thumbing through it. Lots of stuff was kind of set at retail, but he ended up having a blue Nintendo 64 controller for only $15. And if you guys know right now, some of those are going for 24 up to 35 bucks. So I picked up myself a blue N64 controller. So as we're walking around, we see this tower. Uh, it was like maybe three or four levels high. Lots of different McDonald's, Burger King toys in it. But as we're thumbing through it, you know, Jay's frantically going through. He's looking for Mighty Ducks toys. I mean, do you love Mighty Ducks? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, there's some cool stuff. <laughs> As we're looking around that area, I spot something for my Street Fighter collection. I don't find a lot of these cool die cast toys, but there was a small metal one of Chun-Li. And like I said, this stuff's rare these days to come across for the Street Fighter. So I ended up snagging that. We come across a toy vendor there. There is this super cool Batman Forever uh, racing playset, complete uh, in the box. Very awesome. But everything's there. Ninety-five. That's crazy. It, it really makes a nice display, and it works. I thought it was neat. Yeah, that's why that's I got awesome. it. From the guy. I gave the guy five bucks for it. What's the two cars? It's Batman, and then is he chasing? Is he chasing Two Face? I think that's what it is. Our armored Two Face. Yeah. Car. Okay, Batman Forever. Who are the villains? Go. Uh, Batman Forever. So that would be Riddler and uh, Dr. Mr. Freeze. Two Face. <laughs> Blind, stupid, simple. <laughs> Loser. We're getting close to the end of the day. So far, we found a couple things I got for a Street Fighter collection, the N64 controller. Uh, Jay ends up finding a couple Snickle Fritz stuff here or there, but then he finds the costume of his dreams. Yeah, you'll look good. You think you'll fit in it? Sure. <laughs> the thing is, you gotta wear this type of stuff on stream. People have to think you're interesting. So, Jay, make sure that I see that every time you do a whatnot stream. You better have that on. Going into this flea market, I was floored by how many cool nostalgic items there are. 80s to 90s toys, uh, lots of things back from our childhood, board games to action figures. These are the things that are gonna continue to be collectible and lots of vendors had a bunch of them there. Browsing through the flea market, we find this grail for most people that just debuted in a retro Rick video, and that is Jeffrey the Giraffe. This statue is huge. Uh, I can only imagine shipping it was a nightmare for Rick, but it was very cool to see this thing before certain someone bought it and took it to his new store. So guys, go check out Retro Rick's new video. Uh, he literally is gonna have a video game store and it's super awesome. So uh, maybe one day we can all visit. So I have to say, I gotta hit that flea market up again. You know, with vendors, they always have new stuff. They always have new stuff coming in. And uh, Jay, NES addict, 
thank you so much for taking me to the flea market and uh, hopefully next time we find even cooler stuff. Guys, if you like what I got going on, you like my silly content, hit that subscribe button, uh, hit the notification bell. Everybody always tells you to do it, but you gotta do it or you won't see my stuff. Uh, and until we make another video, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.